Microphone. There Hello, we go. Hello, everybody. There we go. Okay, can you hear us okay? Before it's too late. Indeed, lacking noise. Nikki. Hear you pop. Yeah, okay, yeah, there you can hear right. us now. So as you saw, we started the show and you couldn't hear me. And I said, I gotta get Sam, he's not here. Sorry. He's a goofy dude. I was I was patching holes in my fetus. <laughs> and so now now we're all set and we can get situated here. What's and, up uh, everybody? And do Welcome our show. to the show. And this one, two, three, four, we're cracking the midnight, we're the show. I don't remember the lyrics. Uh, we got it, it was close enough. You know, we used to have <laughs> a little uh, piece of paper with our lyrics on it and our plans from previous shows sitting around. But that's all gone now, because as you can see, we have a new studio. Look at this new studio! This thing is awesome! It's great! You know we are actually, we have the, the, uh... Wow, I don't know what that is. Future um, there was some movie playing. We'll talk about that later. We have the camera <laughs> actually on a tripod now. So I'm going to, Brian's going to sit here. I think I'm going to do a little, like, move around camera work. Okay, okay. I'll, 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 I'll stay good with it. So I can, and I I'll show you guys around the new studio as we're doing it. We have um, um, Samantha uh, <laughs> sitting on top of this piece of green paint. With, there's a there's a picture there. There's a picture there. Who picture is it? Of some some, some flowers. And some bread. It looks great. Oh, you're like ultra zoomed in now. Am um, I? you're cutting off my head. I didn't. I know. I'm 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 panning. Okay. Oh oh oh! Just so we can see everything. Yeah. I thought you were just. I can't zoom. Yeah. No. It's um. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's much great. bigger. Let's see if I can. Um, kind of got to get used to working in it because uh, computer's over there and I got to be reaching around and the camera's far away. I think, I don't know about you, I think we should get like a, a, a crew. Yeah, I agree. I also think that we should move this camera closer for our show because I feel like this is kind of far away. This is the kind of thing that we should be doing before the show instead of coming up here at 11.59 and saying, oh crap, we're going to start our show. It's true. But what's the fun in that? Yeah, I know, right? What's the fun in doing it all right? If you do it all right, there's everything's just right, and that's no fun. Who Hold likes, a second. I, I like have... turning left. Turn left. Turn left, says Rose Tyler. Turn left. Yeah, that's, that's zoomed in more yet. Yeah, that looks good. That yeah. looks perfect, actually. Awesome. Um, get all our, right. get our comments up here. Um, we're going to have to pull the comments up on Sam's computer because apparently they've been playing <laughs> movies all day yeah. on smfa.us. And right now, it's the beginning It's the beginning of Future Kill. Future Kill, I've heard of this, okay. Um, oh, it's the same one? We're watching Future Kill again. I don't know how to make it stop. Future Kill Part 2, if you will. But no. it's really t Look, Ronald War is on it! It's gonna be a good show. Well, uh, 17 viewers. Damn straight, we haven't had that many. What's while. up, everybody? Okay, so this is an awesome new studio that Sam White has put together. I saw him putting it together last week. Oh, uh, just before we get going, can you guys hear the sounds of Future Kill bleeding through? Oh, I gotta go to the, the chat, sorry. Or should I just. I should just. We should just get rid of this, because I don't know how to make it. I don't know what to do. Just, just there we go. There it is. Okay. Okay. okay, no anyway. more future kill. No reason. Okay, so anyway, we got this awesome new studio here. Um, thanks to Sam White and his his work um, and everything. Hang on just one second. We got our shit together tonight. You know, it's it's weird that we're so out of focus because our our schedule for tonight is very well illustrated, as you can see. I illustrated There's it. a stripper hanging upside down with their boobs hanging. I say a stripper because they're the only time I can really imagine someone hanging upside no, down she's, naked. No, she's like peeking through a, a dimensional hole. It's okay. like a dimensional portal, you know? So, and then we have some cheese giving the middle finger. And he's saying, hey, fuck you! And you have a penis with a face described as an earthworm. Yeah, and he's just, he's disguised. He's saying, I'm a penis in disguise. That's what he's saying. That was the... The thing. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry about the the 
weirdness. Anyway, so uh, yeah, awesome new studio on this platform here. Um, we have a new computer over there that we hope is going to be up and running soon. I haven't seen um, our stream crash yet, which it usually would have by yeah, this that, point. Yeah, that's a pretty good shows. size. Um, but yeah, we're hoping that we have the new computer up soon. We have two other cameras, so we're actually going to have this really cool new program where we can switch between different camera views, so we can like be looking here. We're going to have camera people, camera people, camera people, gender neutral peoples. Like and a multiple. director, and it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Switching stuff, it's gonna be switching stuff in complete insanity. Whoa, your mind's gonna be fucking blown. Um, but not tonight. Tonight's just a regular shitty show. Um, in fact, so far, shittier. No, than no, usual. no, don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Um, better than last week's show, though, because last week there was no show. Yeah, last week there was no show. And why was there no show? Uh, it, we were on spring break. We, we thought were on spring break. We had formally announced that we were going to be doing one anyway, despite of spring break. But it turns out we couldn't stay in the building past it midnight. It was stupid. It was very stupid, and I didn't like it. Yeah. And as a result, besides you guys not being able to view us in all your viewing pleasure, uh... I got a lot less work done than I thought I was going to. Oh, should I move over to? Yeah, it's not <laughs> not really bad. Okay, uh, I got a lot less work done than I thought I was going to, which sucked. Anyway, um, so yeah, sorry about that. But we had spring break, which was at sometimes nice, and at other times normal, just like any other school week. Brian, how was your uh, my spring, spring break? break? Kind of sucked. Very spread thin. Um, and then my way of dealing with it was retreating. I actually did go home, which I never go home. I mean, I, I grew up just outside of the city, and uh, so it's never really like, oh, you're going home for summer? It's like, I am home. But um, I actually stayed at my parents' house for a couple of days. I went down to work one night because I, I needed to borrow my dad's car, and then ended up staying there for four days, and I had one pair of underwear and no toothbrush this whole time. That's gross. Yeah, it was uncool. Did you brush your teeth with a twig? I just, I just, like I just Tom Sawyer got up and ate a lot of bananas. That seems to do the trick for me. Okay, that's weird. Usually when I eat bananas, they make my teeth feel more gritty. They make uh, it feel more all, like, gritty, sticky. but you can't taste it, and that's, that's all I was That's fair. I zoomed us in a little bit. What do you think? I, I think like that it. looks a little better. Yeah, it looks perfect. Um, yeah, yeah. So, but what did you do while you were home? Did you do anything cool? <clears throat> no. Oh. I, I okay. watched two friends of mine make fun of sports. And I don't follow sports, but I do follow Jared and Phil making fun of sports. It's much more entertaining. I know Phil. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> like Tom Sawyer had teeth. Tom Sawyer had lots of teeth. Um, moderately Mad Max. Just, uh, just how so about you, know. you? How was your spring break? It was pretty good. It was it was it was pretty good. I was only shooting at night, so I had uh, lots of time to. Oh, that clock doesn't work. Um, I had lots of time to do whatever I wanted during the day. Hung around a lot. The weather was beautiful. I wore shorts like four days in a row, which was awesome. Um, and I was shooting during the nights, which was which was stressful enough. I had some other work to do and things like that. But no, it was it was pretty chill. Um, Wednesday was a good day. I did uh, nothing, which was was really good. That Guess was that was Saturday. kind of my spring break day. And then Saturday and Sunday. Saturday I watched Star Wars, uh, and Sunday, well Saturday. Here's how Saturday went. On Friday I was watching Star Wars and I fell asleep uh, before they even got to Mos Eisley. I fell asleep while they were at Obi Wan's little hut on Tatooine. I fell asleep. That's the first real down swoop in the movie, so yeah. I can understand. Uh, I fell asleep then, and then I woke up the next morning, and I made some breakfast, and then I went back and continued to watch it from that same place. And I watched it all the way to the end. And then I watched, uh, I think about 14 episodes, the last 14 episodes of Star Wars The Clone Wars, which was awesome. Let me just talk about that for one second. Darth Maul is Whoa. back. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. We have had long discussions on this show before about where all the bits of the Clone War fucking cartoons yeah. and everything all fit together. Yeah. Where are we now? Okay, so now we are at the point. Uh, it's still in non -conti You know, they're still creating it. But, uh, it, and it's still all very original. But, you know, it's just the middle of the Clone Wars. Uh, Anakin is becoming more and more evil. 
as we go along. Like, there's no doubt about that. There was a whole um, four-episode plot during the season where Obi-Wan went undercover. Um, like, he changed, literally changed his face. He went undercover as uh, a bounty hunter um, to stop a plot against the Emperor, from kidnapping the Emperor. And it was this whole huge thing. Wait. Um, and during all of this, the way he went under disguise... The Emperor as in... Sorry. Senator. Sen Chancellor. Chancellor Palpatine. Chancellor Palpatine. Um, not Emperor yet. Not Emperor yet. Anyway, um, he went undercover to um, get the Emperor to... Chancellor to not be... Kidnapped. Kidnapped. Um, Jesus, Sam. And, uh, and the way he went undercover was he got shot by a bounty hunter. And everybody thought he was dead. Except for, like, Mace Windu and Yoda. So anyway, and through, through all this, Anakin was like, fuck this, I'm really mad, because shit, Obi-Wan's dead. Like, what the hell? Um, anyway, so Darth Maul is back now. It's been a really dark season. Darth Maul is back. He was, like, really crazy and messed up, like the Joker who was found in the sewer. He was, like, messed up. Well, he got <laughs> cut in half. He got dude. cut in half. He had this weird... He got cut in half and fell down a bottom I know. of the pit. He, that he is fell down so dead. That I know, no, listen. Sense. He fell down a bottom of the pit, but in some, somehow they made it okay. There was all this magic that's, that's really the Force, but it's, like, this other kind of magic. And um, his brother, who was another person from the, the planet Dathomir, which he is from, uh, who, who was Count Dooku's apprentice, found him on this planet, and he's, like, this really crazy, like, messed up dude that's, like, schizophrenic and, like, eating people and shit like that. Wait, And he's got this... this weird spider body on the back half of him, and he's, like, running around in the sewers of this planet that's, like, this junk planet where everybody just dumps their trash. And his brother finds him and brings him back to this witch lady who's really just, I'm pretty sure, just a user of the Force, but it's, like, a special kind of user of the Force. Brings her back there, and she builds him. She, like, restores his brain so he's, like, normal, but he's still a little bit crazy. He's, like, really a little bit crazy. And she builds him these sweet, like, metal legs. And the whole time he was saying, the only reason I stayed alive is because I, even though my body was dead, my spirit was full of such anger and hate for Obi-Wan Kenobi <coughs> that that kept me alive. Uh, um. <coughs> yeah, like that. Perfect blink. Well done. Check it out. Ah, there we go. Click on that link. There are uh, Darth Maul's metal legs. And no shirt, man. He's a buff dude. He, it, it was, I, I'm not going to lie. It was weird the way they brought him back, but it worked. Hold that up for you guys. It works. Yeah, just click it. It doesn't. You got to do it yourself. Anyway. So also, that's, that's what I did. Whoever it was playing Future Kill fucked up the screen thing because I can't grab this in the corner. Just now. move it up. Just move it up. Click on that and move it upwards. No, 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 the numbers. There we go. He, like, wedged the thing in the corner. And, uh, and click, uh, click, uh, whatever on the right. What? There we go, okay. So anyway, whew, spring break. It was, it was an okay spring break. It was, it wasn't bad. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I enjoyed most of it. Some of it was busy. Yeah, it, it wasn't was, much of a break when it, you get there. It really there. wasn't. Um, now, I, uh, I'd like to jump. I learned to play a lot of guitar. Oh, no shit. Yeah. That's cool. My fingers are nice and bruised. That's good. Yeah. Um, I want to jump right into our first recurring segment of the night. Um, art and stuff for tonight is not actually new art and stuff. It's actually a revisiting of a previous failed art and stuff. You see, part of this new studio is a new computer. The new computer isn't actually hooked up yet. Is it? Really? Well, whatever's going it on... It might be, whatever. Whatever's going on here, it works. And I actually tested this. There's a program. <coughs> um, program website thing. It's called Dreamlines. Um, and you guys got to look up yourself. Um, let's see. It was created by... Uh, the, uh, yeah, I don't care who made it. Some guy made it, and it's online interactive art stuff. And um, let's take a look. Basically, what you do is you say, like, um, you put in a keyword, and it goes into its database of images, and then it generates images based off that image and makes it really cool. Pork. So, pork? Okay, let's see. Pork. Ooh, and got that nice second. pendulum. Yeah, it's gonna. This was written in processing, by the way. Yeah, That's how I found was. this because I I am learning processing right now, and then you 
put up online. Um, so let's see what our, our, our dream of pork is. As our pork dream is loading. It is going to work. It worked a second ago. I did poop a second ago. And I, I actually remembered I'd done poop before, and the first thing that comes up is this, this gif of poop that I, I've actually used before. It's like the first thing that shows up on Google for poop. Okay, if this doesn't work again, I'm gonna punch someone in the jaw. Not me. Well, it's not working. Shut up. <laughs> I swear, it worked like, I'm sorry, that was harsh. I'm frustrated. My dream isn't loading. Ryan's uh, dreams don't load. <laughs> it's rendering, it's reticulating splines. Oh, it's going! Wait, it went! Ah! There we go. It's building pork. It froze. No, it was going and then as soon as we went back it's to it, still it froze. Going. There it goes. Oh, look at that. Ew. Look at our dream. That's, that's a fucked up dream. So it's just getting images and layering them on top of each other, and it's really, it's really strange. They just kind of like do this, and so you get images of pork bleeding through and just weird junk. And by the way, they don't have any porn in their database. I've typed in every conceivable keyword that could lead you smut. to porn. Smut? Did you type in smut? I tried smut. I've tried. I've tried everything, man. I tried, I tried big black cock, and this just giant picture of a huge black rooster showed up. I was really upset. Hairy pork. Yeah, it is, it is pretty hairy. Porkception. I like that. Well done, Chris. Um, boobs. Erica wants you, boobs. You want to try boobs? Because um, penis works. I've tried penis. Oh, no, those are not boobs. Uh, let's try boobs. It's going to take like forever to load again, probably. So while we're waiting for boobs to load, we're just going to keep doing these over the, over the course of the night. Um, um, uh, what else is going on today? I don't remember what else was on art and stuff. Oh, boobs loaded. Boobs. It's probably just going to come up with like stupid people or something. Um, stupid people. I don't know, can anyone see? Oh, I, no, wait, that's a guy with man boobs. There you see, go. I can actually tell smaller on the, on yeah. the reduced, the little reduced thumbnail we have. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. I mean, it doesn't look like boobs, but... Oh, uh, that's gonna be, uh... No, that's, that's a chick in a dress with big boobs. Yeah. They're on, like, a shelf. You see? They're on a dress shelf. A dress shelf. Um, does that look like, those are, that's a cleavage. Those are, that's a face? That's oh, a, that's that baby! <laughs> that's that baby! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody put an army helmet on him, a little stormtrooper helmet. That's... Let's, let's check, show us some cleavage. Julia Roberts? They've been all, these are all really straightforward images. They're usually a little bit more like abstract than this. Like, like pork. Pork was pretty good. Boobs is just showing us boobs. How could it? Mm. Um, uh, while we're watching this, a little, a little, a little news. We got, we have a Facebook page. You guys should definitely check that out. Because the eight people that like us, I don't think are very representative of our audience. I know there's there's like 17 you watching right now, 16 I 17 think. 17 viewers right now. Yeah, and and uh, all of you should definitely, you know, that's at least 17 people. Minus like the four Facebook. of you that are Look at those boobs. Us. I think that's a dude with boobs. That looks like uh the What's dude What's going from, on there? Man? That looked like the dude from something. Anyway, we also have a YouTube channel now. Yeah, where um when you go to youtube.com/ MCC at mid no. Uh, actually, at probably if you go midnight. to if you go to YouTube and search McCracken at midnight, it probably like there you go. There it is. McCracken at midnight. YouTube.com/slash McCracken at midnight. We have uh, five 
five, four episodes up right now. Um, some of them didn't work. Um, I don't remember why. One of the, a couple of them, the audio was so bad that we didn't. Even yeah, we bother. just didn't even put them up. And there. then one of them, like the file was weird. But it's five of our previous nine episodes, eight episodes, however many. Well, this is done. episode eight right here. This is episode eight. So we were only missing three episodes from that. So don't worry about it. Math. Math. But um, this one will be going up. And all subsequent episodes will be going up. And if you have a favorite episode of McCracken at Midnight, I think the bunny episode is up there. The isn't bunny it? episode, the bunny yes. episode uh, is up there. The president episode is up there. Leap Day, President's Day, Valentine's Day, and Sick Day. They're all themed. Valentine's days. Day was the bunny time. I think today is the first day that we haven't had a theme day. Today is themeless day. Themeless day. We are without theme. We are. Uh, you see now the now the now the man boob guy is back. Those are different man boobs. They're just they're just like cycling through them now, but they're drawing um, them slightly differently. How are you guys today? Good, I hope. Mm. <sighs> pork boob. You know what? Um. Oh, I like I like pork boobs. I like Minecraft even better. Minecraft. Let's start a new one, and merg, we'll we'll well just merg. we'll just check back on this as um. As the day, you know, goes on, if anything, if anything fun comes up. In the meantime, we want to do a segment that we just started doing called In the Nudes. In the Nudes. And um, it's where we talk about news, and hopefully news about naked people, but we don't have any of that. It's week. not about naked people today. We haven't been keeping up with the nudes, apparently, because we only have one piece of nude that we have uh, to talk about. Yeah, but it's an interesting piece it's of nude. It's a really, really weird one. Um, I found it today... While reading Gizmodo, a popular gadget blog, and uh, basically, James Cameron, the famous movie maker, director of Titanic, and Avatar, and probably some other junk that nobody cares about yeah. that isn't better. Um, <laughs> oh, those are the two that you pick. I know. Not yeah, whatever. Yeah, that was the that. joke. Anyway, okay. James Cameron oh, it? Uh, recently has been <coughs> the second person ever to dive to the bottom of the ocean. That's right. The He's, bottom of the Marianas Trench. The bottom of the Marianas Trench. He S dove all the way to the bottom. Seven miles, six and a half miles to the bottom of the fucking ocean. Of all the people, alone, by the way. It's not alone, like he had- Alone, in a tiny, like, flat submarine. This is a weird thing. Not like he had this, like, some dude who was like, here, James Cameron, I'll show you how to, like, I'll pilot this submarine and you just hang out. He fucking learned how to pilot a submarine and he went down to the bottom of the Marianas Trench. Of all the people to go to the bottom of the deepest part of the planet, James Cameron. It's, like, that makes me like a little just uncomfortable It's because he's got the money. He's it's because he's, he's, he's got the money. It's just so weird. He's got the resources in terms of technology, obviously. And, I mean, he's like, at least he's using the money that he has for some kind of artistic slash explorative endeavor you know what i mean mm -hmm. like if i had that much money i'd build a rocket ship and fly to mars you know i wouldn't just sit on it and poop all day <laughs> i'd like do something crazy with it you know what i, I guess mean? i guess I, th I guess i i like that he's kind of fulfilling the ex there's there's not a lot of eccentric billionaires anymore no there are not there aren't any more crazy like there's no outlandish billionaires. There's no like, Tom Slick Juniors in the yeah. world anymore. By the way, do y'all know about Tom Slick Jr.? I doubt all of you do, so I'm gonna tell you about Tom Slick Jr. There's this guy. First of all, his name is Tom Slick Jr. Um, not named after the guy from Wacky Racer. I don't think the guy from Wacky Racer is named after him. I think they just have the same name because like it's amazing that someone is named Tom Slick, and then like someone else would have to have invented it somewhere. Anyway, on top of being named Tom Slick, huh? Yeah, he did make a weird museum. Yeah, we'll get to that soon. Tom Slick, son of a Texas oil baron, he uh he got into construction and invented a bunch of construction techniques. He invented a bunch of other stuff. He like just machines and shit. He was an engineer, and then he. Um, and this is all like before he was 30, he was really young, and then he, uh, he started a, a facility that just in, was an invention facility and a research facility, but it was all focused on 
the advancement of the entire human race rather than um, you know any anything that they could sell or any gain just like he was just pouring money into it and just like just like learn stuff and just better society through inventing shit like the Dharma initiative yeah so that's really cool and um, then um, after being rich and doing cool shit for a while he said you know what I'm going to leave this life and become an adventurer and he spent the next like 15 years like flying around the world um, looking for uh, being a cryptozoologist and stealing yeti hands from uh, monks in the Himalayas and taking them back for genetic testing. They all turned out to be gorilla hands. Whatever. It's okay. The fact that he, he did just it. didn't find the right one. And went around the Pacific Northwest looking for eight foot long salamanders. He was crazy. Inventor, multi millionaire. Adventurer like Howard Hughes. Tom Slick. This guy's the man. He died when he was like 40 in a plane crash. Which is a good way to go if you're 40. Yeah. He's probably flying that plane himself over like Cambodia. Over a volcano. Over a volcano. Like, to rescue a I wonder baby. if I could see any giant spiders on that lava. And he was like, <laughs> nope, I'm crashing. <laughs> That's how I'm going to believe it happened. Um, read about Tom Slick. This dude's a man. Oh, and he was a big patron of the arts, too, and he had, like, this big art collection and, like, funded artists, and he was just the man. Speaking of patrons of the arts and also slick people that rhymes slightly with slim because it's got the same two first letters, Carlos Slim, the richest man in the world, uh, thank you, No Pomo, uh, actually used his money to make a pretty awesome-looking museum in Mexico City. At least I think it's in Mexico. I'm assuming it's in Mexico. Yeah, it's in Mexico Ooh. City. Uh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool looking, cool looking thing. Uh, I don't actually know what's in it. Uh, what's it called? Just type in Carlos Slim Museum. Oh, good. Yep, there it is. Look a it pretty is. sweet looking museum. I'm gonna do some real research real quick. Just. It's called the Emperor's New Museum. Um, named mean. after the film Emperor's New Groove. Oh, man, so many connections. I know, right? We were just talking about that movie earlier today. What was it supposed to be called originally? It's supposed to be called uh, Kingdom of the Sun or something like that. Um, yeah, that's a weird looking fucking building. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool building. But Emperor's New Groove. Um, there was this awesome documentary online that I didn't get to watch because it got removed pretty quickly, literally within a day. Um, a documentary taken by someone's wife of the, like, behind-the-scenes making of the movie, Disney movie, The Emperor's New Groove, um, that apparently started as something really awesome called Kingdom of the Sun and slowly just declined because of weird, like disagreements and Sting was having trouble writing the music and stuff like that. Yeah, that like was the that. only consistent thing throughout it was that Sting was always going to do the music. I'm yeah. pretty sure they just based the movie around Sting. I mean, they had the voice talents too. They had David Spade and they had John Goodman. Um, and they had What's-Her-Face. Uh, Eartha Kitt. Um, but the movie apparently, yeah, Kingdom of the Sun. <coughs> it changed around a little bit and got weird. And now this documentary, is an hour and a half documentary of like behind the scenes like interviewing people at Disney in the creative writing room and stuff like that. But it's gone now. Disappointing. Um, yeah. But that's okay, because sometimes <coughs> bad things happen mm. to good people. And good Like movies. David Spade. <laughs> it just happens. Um, um, I think we have a new segment that we're going to try and make regular tonight. We do, have, we do have a new segment. We came up with this while we were walking home from getting pizza tonight. From now on, uh, well, let's see. Me and Sam are in this class. It's, I'm still in this class. I might still be in this class. I'm going to go if I feel like it. It's called Grimm's Fairy Tales, and it's about kind of, well, a lot of stuff. But it's about Grimm's of, Fairy Tales. One of the things we get to do cool. is read very, very early versions of what are now pretty well established, um, often by film, Disney movies, a lot of the time, um, uh, fairy tales. Now, you know, everyone thinks they know the story of Little Red Riding Hood, 
But you fucking don't. You do not know the story. Well, you do know the story because overall, most of the interpretations are pretty much the same. There's a whole argument about where fairy tales come from, how they actually came to be, whether or not like different people in different parts. Of, it's called uh, what's it called poly uh, polygenesis. Polygenesis, where people come up with the same story in different parts of the world at the same time for different reasons, and they all actually mean the same thing. In any case, what all this means is that there are a lot of different versions of the same story. But there's one particular version of Little Red Riding Hood, which I love so much because it is twisted and weird and kind of freaky and a little bit sexy in a sick way. And we're going to tell it for you now. This new segment that we're doing is, let's just call it Grimm's Fairy Tales. Let's call it, let's call it... Um, we'll think of a name for it later. We'll think of a name for it later. And when when we say it next time, you know what we're talking about. Because uh, you'll know, like, that's when Sam tells us fucked up fairy Moderately tales. Mad Max said, everything is bloodier and more rapey. Yeah. Which is spot on, <laughs> Mad Max. Uh, spot on. In any case... We're going to tell you this story. This is our favorite version of the story. We agree tonight. This has been the best version of any story we've read the entire semester so far. It's weird. It's awesome. Here we go. So, at the beginning, we all know, Little Red Riding Hood. She's, like, talking to her mother, and her mother's like, Your grandmother's sick. you got to go take your bread and your milk. Or, in some stories, it's, like, butter and cookies or something. Anyway, you got to take this to your grandmother. So, Little Red Riding Hood's, like, walking down the path. I don't totally remember exactly how this version goes. Uh, she's walking down the path, and she runs into the wolf in the woods. And the wolf's is like, uh, hey. And she's like, yo. And she's, uh, the wolf is like, uh, checking her out, and he's like, I'd like to eat this broad. Yeah. I'd like, to, I'd like to eat this broad. Um, but like, I'm not doing it right here, right out in the open. No, nah, yeah, so the wolf is like, you know what, don't take this cool path, take this other path, because like, this will get you to your grandmother's house quicker. But I think that really the wolf was like, actually, this path is pretty much longer, and this is giving me a chance to really fuck shit up. And he rushes home to the grandmother. The wolf. The wolf does. Well, <coughs> you know, uh, Ra Little Red Riding Hood is taking a dear sweet beating. time. And the wolf gets to uh, the grandmother's house and just, you know, come, you know, knocks on the door and says, hey, it's Little Red Riding Hood. She's like, oh. And there's a straw on the door. This is the one with the straw where the grandmother is like, oh, it's just held together with a wet straw. Just open it. What would a wet yeah. straw do to hold open a door? Why did she even bother putting a wet straw there? Also, she's sick in bed. How did she get the straw, put it in water, and then put it, I don't even know, like put it a, on the door? A straw can get wet on its own. That logistically doesn't even add up. But she says, hey, let me in. And he says, a uh, little red riding hood. It's actually the wolf, and he said, "No, yeah, it's just a piece of wet straw." So he's like, "Well, fuck that!" And he comes in, and he jumps on the bed, and he just chows down. He eats her. He eats the crap out of her. Not all of her, though. Not all of her. He drains some of her blood out into the, the, a vial, a jar, a, a jar. jar, or a bottle, or something, and puts it on a shelf. And then he takes a, a hunk of her flesh and bones, just flesh, I think. Whatever bits of her. And he puts that on the shelf next to it. And then... So then Little Red Riding Hood comes up. She's like skipping along. She's like, everything's fine. And she comes up and she knocks on the door and the wolf is like, oh, there's only a wet straw. But the wolf is like pretending to be the grandmother. So it's like, it's only a wet straw on the door. So the wolf is you know, That's what my grandmother sounds like. Yeah, well, that's what your grandmother as a wolf would, would sound mm -hmm. like. Anyway, so Little Red Riding Hood is like, okay, cool. So she pushes open the door and the grandmother's in there, but it's really the wolf. And she's like reclining in her bed. I don't know why, whatever. Uh, she's reclining in her bed, and she's like, <coughs> Little Red Riding Hood, you look really tired. Like, put down your burden. And would you like something to eat, maybe? Uh, because there's some wine. First of all, how old's Little Red Riding Hood? I don't know if she's old enough she's to be She's supposed drinking. to be like like 12, right? Like 13 or... Whatever, she's not old enough to be drinking wine. But virgin. It's like... the, the point is she's supposed to be a, like a, a pre... Uh, sexual virgin is what she is. Yes, yes, which is very important for later, as we'll see. So he's like, go drink some of this wine and eat some of this bread, which is actually grandma's blood and grandma's flesh. flesh. So she, like, goes over to the flesh and she's like, 
Oh, yeah. And then, all of a sudden, there's a cat. The cat jumps down, and he says, hey, Little Red Riding Hood, you're a slut if you eat that, that, that flesh. That flesh. Literally, word for word, the cat says, Little Red Riding Hood, you're a slut if you eat that flesh. I didn't think the word slut had been invented. It's in the book. Like, it's typed. But there it is. So the cat calls the Little Red yeah, Riding Hood a slut, a slut for... Eat that flesh. It calls the Little Red Riding Hood a slut for cannibalizing her grandmother. And then... So then, <laughs> the wolf is like, oh, don't worry about it, or whatever. And then, at the, the next thing that happens, the wolf, as still as the grandmother, wh why Little Red Riding Hood doesn't realize, like... He says, oh, that's someone's flesh, it's probably my grandmother, because why would my grandmother kill somebody and keep their flesh, unless somebody came in and killed my grandmother and put her flesh on the shelf and tried to trick me into eating it. So anyway... The wolf is there, and he's like, oh, don't worry about the food, but you look really tired. Why don't you take off your clothes? No, but it's not, oh. it's not even that simple. He says, lay down in bed with me. Now, she's sick, so that's weird to begin with. But he says, take off your jacket and throw it in the fire. Oh, yeah. You oh, won't yeah, yeah. need it anymore. Article by article. Makes her do a strip tease for her and burn her clothes. Literally till she's, she's nude. Till she's naked. She is naked. And then he says... Climb in bed with me, and he gets in bed, and they're nestled. So now she Little Red Riding Hood's naked next to the wolf in bed, and he goes down, and he t uh, no, that that's it. That's as far as we get, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she's naked in bed with them, and then she's like, "Wolf, I gotta take a leak." Actually, she doesn't no, say no, no, that. No, no, that's not there yet. What, no, 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 no they, do the, they, they do the rope. That's not yet. That's okay. after. Okay, okay, okay. So she doesn't say that. She says, "Oh yeah, he oh. needs to make cables." Yeah. Was the uh, precise terminology they use in the story? She needs to go make cables in the snow. Because it was snowing this whole time, apparently. To make cables, we figured out is to pee. Yeah. She needs to make a cable make of piss. cables. So she needs to make cables in the snow. And the wolf says, fuck it, piss in the bed. Just go in the bed. Just go in the bed. Like, like whoa, what kind like, of sick wolf is this? He's first like, he gets this nude girl in his bed. And he's like, first, no, 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 wait. Just, first, just, he makes her eat her grandmother. Then makes her burn her clothes and get into bed naked with him. And, and then he's piss just on like, him. And then he's just like, hey, just, just, babe, babe, just, just pee here. It's cool. It's cool. Just don't worry about it. Just pee right on me. But he's not, like, nice about it, though. He's kind of a dick about no, it. No, he like, is. like, piss in the fucking bed. Yeah. So then she's like, I really don't want to do that. And he's like, fine. I'll tell you what you can do. I'll tie a rope around your ankle, run outside naked, pee in the snow. I'll hold on to Isn't you. Isn't that like leash. a hatch or something like that? I feel like there's a hatch. I feel like she goes down for some reason. Ah, go on. Anyway. He lets her outside <laughs> on this rope, so he's got her on a leash by the ankle, and she's pissing in the snow. By this time, naked. Thankfully, yeah, naked, peeing in the snow. Obviously, it's cold. By this time, thankfully, She's our, realized our, that our young heroine realizes that something is not quite right. Hopefully it was the eating the flesh, but in reality it's probably, wait, my grandmother wouldn't want me to pee on her. Anyway, um, I think did, they, they did do the, the big eyes, big teeth. Did they, Yeah, did probably. Show up I don't here? remember. Who knows? Anyway, she goes outside. She ties, I mean, the wolf's an idiot. Yeah, like, he ties, takes it off her ankle and ties it to a tree and then runs away. Naked. Naked through the snow. So now we can only assume what happens to her next. She's running naked through these woods in the German countryside, in the, in the Hessian countryside, where all these like dirty people are living that are like digging through the mountains and playing lutes and stuff like that. No doubt that her young virgin body, now we have to assume, has been violated by the wolf both through the looking of the eyes on the nude body and the desire to be peed on. She's running naked. This, this young, violated virgin, no longer virgin, is running naked through the woods. What happens to her next? We don't know, because that's the end of the story. It's the end of, that's, 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 that's the end. She runs off naked through the snow. End of story. That's so that's the, the story of Little Red Riding Hood. <coughs> I hope you all enjoyed it. She almost eats her grandmother. She gets naked for she a She does wolf. eat her grandmother. She almost pees in the bed because somebody <laughs> wants her to. But then she's like, wait, nobody wants me to pee in the bed. So then she runs away. Um, and the next, cat calls her a slut. Next week is Cinderella where all of... Oh, man, where, Cinderella. Where all of the... Um, it's a story where all the, uh, all the stepsisters cut pieces of their feet off. I told this story tonight once. It was awesome. And people's eyes get pecked out by doves. That's what happens in Cinderella. Yeah. That's next week. That's next week. <laughs> uh, Woo! That's the fairy tale segment, which is what it is right now. Um, so, 
what are our comments? Little Red Raping Hood. Yeah. Yes. No, exactly. seriously. Little, oh boy, I don't even know what that one says. Little blank blanking blank. Little, little, I don't know what, it's three letters. Little, uh, ass. Ass. They wouldn't get rid of ass, ass. would they? No, Fucking they do get rid of ass. Poop. I don't know. God damn. You know what? We gotta turn off this friggin' censorship because here at SMFA.us and especially here at McCracken at Midnight, I don't know how especially, but we're definitely all about freedom of information and, and speech. And speech and media and information wants to be free. I just a couple minutes ago, you know that you can't for Canon doesn't let you download their utility uh, drivers. The EOS, EOS utility driver for their cameras, you can't download it, you need the original software. And I looked up a tutorial on how to get the update for the software and hack it so you can have the software. You know? And you need the camera for it to fucking do anything, so it's not like it's that big a deal. You know? But I went to do it on one of the computers downstairs earlier, and they fixed it. On the most recent update, they locked all the files up so you can't delete the uh, piece of code that you need to um, uh, be able to install the update as a, uh, a, a new driver, and that is fucked up, man. It's really dumb. Information wants to be free. It, it literally cries out. I, I'm information now. I'm information. I want to be free. It does. That's what it sounds yeah, like. Back Sam. So that was just my rant. I just want to let you guys know about that. And then at the same time, they're making it so we can't say ass on you stream, even though I can just say ass now to you. Now it's just star, star, here. star. Yeah, that's what it was star. before. Look, look, you know what? I'm going to go through every swear and type it and I won't be able to say it, and oh, then I'm going to say it out loud as you do it. So, fuck. Shit. Cunt. Um, butt sex. Uh, oh, but said maybe you have to do it in two sex. two words. <laughs> um, <coughs> I got sex. no butt sex works. Like I'm that I'm too. I'm getting I'm getting I'm I'm running out really quick. Those are the big ones. I did cunt already. Tit? tit doesn't work. Tits. Really? It doesn't do tit or tits. Not one Poop. or two tits. Poops works. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, by the way, we're talking to um, uh, Chelsea Mado over here. On by the, other the way, side of what the time is it? Oh my goodness, it's twelve forty-six. That's past time for our favorite segment. Our favorite new segment. This is will be the this will be the second time it actually is really no third time occurring because we had Mark Tang, remember? Yeah, but Mark Tang hosted. I guess so. It's kind of cheating. It's like Andy Richter isn't really the guest on Conan O'Brien. Uh, In any case, it's time for our newest favorite. Awesomest segment, well, second newest, called Care Questions. And our special guest tonight is the lovely lady who's been behind the camera the whole evening working pouring, diligently pouring wax into a on bucket. Her thesis project. If I've looked distracted, it's because she's just pouring wax on shit. And let's, it's really cool. Let's welcome, with a big round of applause, everybody, I hope you're clapping ah! at home. Chelsea Mada! Yeah! Chelsea! <laughs> Chelsea, oh, it's good to see you. How are you? How are you? Oh, it's not. It's not. It's not. We gotta. We gotta fix the camera. It's fine. No, it's, it's okay. You're gonna sit on this one right here. We're gonna scoot down a little bit, and you're gonna you're gonna sit right there. Yep. Go ahead and sit. We can. We're literally <laughs> our our Sam studio that we're in right now is is directly across from uh, Chelsea's studio. So it's, it's right there. Yeah. Our studio is literally right there. Um, welcome, Chelsea. How are you doing? I am tired. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Look how tall you are. <laughs> this is the tallest how I've does, ever been! How does that make you feel? Like a real boy. So, <laughs> tell, can you tell us a little bit about what you're working on right now? Um, here at the SMFA. Well, here at the SMFA, I've uh, currently, for the past three years currently, been working on my senior thesis. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the undergraduate studies. And um, as Brian mentioned, that involves a lot of wax pouring. <coughs> yeah. It does. Like, it smells great up here, by the way. It smells wonderful. Not, it's not super waxy today, but on no. other nights it's just like... Today's beeswax. Uh, yeah. Today's the, the sunshine coat. 
So yeah. Um, but yeah, I use base waxes from other candles on other days, so it gets a little overwhelming. It's wonderfully it's overwhelming. Smelly, it's and good, you can though. smell it from the atrium. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, when did you first decide that shoes were the appropriate thing to put on your feet? Because I, I'll just give you a little background on this question yeah. because I'm currently shoeless. If you'll I notice. thought you were going to comment about how I'm usually shoeless. And I thought to myself, have I ever worn shoes? Because maybe <laughs> shoes is really just a state of mind, you know? Maybe it's, it's, it's all an illusion. Lunchtime, doubly so. So maybe, perhaps, could you... When did you first decide that shoes were the right, were the right choice for you? Probably when I moved to Alston. Yeah. Valid. Because <laughs> I used valid. to walk around Alston barefoot. <laughs> All of the time. Yeah, that sounds that's like not a such a, shitty yeah, most, not a most of idea. the streets are okay, except for the uh, end of Linden Street yeah. and um, the alleyways. That's where most of the broken glass is out to fucking get you. Yeah. Um, As is to be expected. That's about it, though. Yeah, but the other parts <clears throat> of Linden were okay. It was really just that end part, like coming up to um, Cambridge Street. Yeah. That's where it got real bad. I don't know why, but that's where it got really bad. And that's when I started wearing shoes more often. Mm -hmm. And then if I didn't wear sh shoes now, my feet would look like this. Which, there's nothing wrong with that because... Covered in wax? You know, I think that would mean that I wouldn't have feet anymore. Certain skin things like that are, are really sometimes quite beautiful. Burnt <clears throat> feet. Waxy burnt feet. Waxy blistered you know, burnt feet. People say that, you know, like, you want... To, you know, people talk about an ideal, you know, um, ideal face, you know, and a perfect, beautiful face. And I've thought really hard about this. I think, strictly speaking, if you stick to what exactly, you know, the the status quo ideal of beauty is, burn victims are the most, they're the prettiest people on the planet. Their features are completely smooth and, and rounded and like there's no weird protrusions, you know? I don't mm -hmm. think they even have pores, you know? They don't. <clears throat> they're probably pretty melted shut. Yeah. So, um... This is the most interesting conversation about beauty I've ever been a part of. There you go. I'm glad that we could do that for you. Um... <laughs> so the next time I splash wax on my face... Yeah. Which is actually often. I'll think of that. Yeah, there you go. Maybe Tyler will it's love a, me more. It's a pep talk. You guys bored him off of the uh, chat. He was right. rock and roll bro. Well, oh, you know, he dick. doesn't well, no, he have to go anywhere because <laughs> whatever, what a Tyler. Dick. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Just whatever. He was in you better Star like Wars. us on Facebook, Tyler. Babs! Babs! Poops! Sorry, that's, that's my hetero life partner, Alex Lundy. He's all the way from sunny Burbank. Alex Lundy! All the way from sunny Burbank, California. Alex, I was born in Burbank. Really? Yeah. Anyway, Chelsea, where were you born? I was born in White Plains, New York. How come? Because that's where my parents lived and then dropped me. <laughs> did, did you, were you born in a pharmaceutical factory and or shipping plant? Hospital? No, pharmaceutical factory and or shipping so plant. So a hospital. I'm basing this, no, not a hospital. <laughs> I'm basing this off of the episode of Seinfeld where they're at the duty-free shop and George is looking for some cold medicine with Jerry. And he finds two versions, and one of them is made somewhere, and Jerry has the one that's made. He goes, oh, White Plains. And George was like, oh, White Plains. Yeah, I'll take that one. So yeah. were you born in a cold medicine factory and or distribution shop? A hospital, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good job. I'm um, very Speaking happy of Seinfeld, you. what's your favorite episode? What is your favorite episode of Seinfeld? I don't know how to answer that. Yes, you do. Well, I don't know. Tyler has a song called... Uh, Seinfeld's a pretty good TV show, and that's all I can think about. I don't have an episode anymore, though. Uh, it's been a long time. I'm a big fan of the long. parking episode. Uh, that's a really good ooh, episode. Ooh. Oh, you know what episode makes me really self-conscious? The one about the lady who doesn't, like, walk. Oh, who doesn't walk. Yeah, who doesn't like, move her arms when she walks. It, when I'm walking, I get really self-conscious. So I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh so much yeah. that I scoot. You do scoot. You scoot, scoot. like a newt. Scoot. Um, scoot. Yeah, that. Scoot. Scoot. And then scoot. you remember that one episode uh, with of, of Thirty Rock where he can't he can't walk. I don't watch Thirty 
well, or no, he's holding the mugs. He's like, I really think I should be holding some mugs. He's got two mugs, and he's like, does anybody have any mugs for me to hold? And then there's that other episode of something else where he can't remember how to walk, where he can't remember how to move his arms when he walks. What is that? Um, I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> I don't know that. Sam McCracken really likes TV. Hey, we were supposed to talk about time travel tonight. Chelsea, talk about time travel. Talk about time travel. for That was filler, but talk about Most time travel. Most of the time, I'm like, eh, Wait. I went to it. Hang on. Okay. Not even time travel. We have two minutes. It's not even time travel. I want you guys, next to time travel, on the front of the slash, is actually lost. Because I'm rewatching no! Lost right now. I'm and it's lost. awesome. No, and I want lost. you guys to Both be on a part of this. Dude, no. I've, I've literally no. watched one episode of Lost ever. And it's ever. bullshit. It's not. It is so bullshit. It's awesome. A smoke monster. That was when I finally gave the fuck up. <laughs> I wanted a survival show. It's That's called like, Lost. It's still a survival it's show. Lost. Do you realize how many people get shot? All the time. Yeah. yeah. But is there, there anything more than survival? Dude, no, shit. Sam, 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 look. If you're here's here's Jealousy's argument. Sure, people get shot, but like, if you're lost in the woods, are you walking around being like, I hope I don't get shot? Like, I that's hope not a that smoke drama. monster doesn't eat me. <laughs> there's plenty of no. fucking. There's plenty of drama shows about being shot and about smoke monsters. I don't oh, think we're about No, smoke because it's a stupid concept. <laughs> it's really you not. You know what Lost should be about? Oh my god, our plane crashed. How the fuck do we survive? See, but that's boring. That's how are we going to make a story that, out of it? Oh my god, Survivor lasted for how long? Survivor is a terrible, terrible fucking uh, show. Shit. Take it back. Take it back, no. Samuel. No. They lost the rice. I won't. <laughs> they lost the rice. That's it. That's the, that's the time. It's time for sing in the comments. That was a good two minutes of anger at Lost, even though I love it. Anyway, it's time for sing in the comments. So, guys, it's now up to you to give us some comments so that Brian and Chelsea can sing whatever you say. Cheeseburger, congratulations. That's a good one. Oh, contemplation? That's a good one. Slamming. Here, Chelsea, you can look at this if you'd like. Okay. Here, let me, let me make it bigger. Uh, and we'll put on, we'll put on, we'll put on Dreamlines. Yeah, we'll put on Dreamlines, we'll put Dreamlines. whatever is playing on there. Um, and I don't think there's anything playing on Chelsea there. Chelsea, at, uh, if, can you see that clock there? I'll signal you it's when we're slowing down draft. and it's the end of the song, you're going to sign us off, okay? And what do I say? You just sign us off. Okay. Let's go crack in midnight. We need one show, last blah, blah, thing blah. to put on the I'm going to use lines. the Pocket Cat sign off. One last thing to, well, you have to also mention the show. What's Dreamlines? Because you have to mention the, the show. Okay, thing, sure. Show. Your dream is loading. Your dream is loading. You know what my dream is? What? Is singing the comedy. <laughs>
myself off my desk a bottle. I gave my mom PC and got her pregnant. Some penis, a micron, cats fight empty water bottles. What is this dream? Pin Your face sucks. I don't appreciate police. Spider chili. Spider chili. Words, words, words. Good night and kill yourself. Thank you, everybody. That was really nice. Chelsea, you want to sign us off? Stay sweet. Stay sweet. Thanks, everybody, for watching my Cracking at Midnight. Tune in next week where we're going to dissect some pigs and also drink yellow something. Gatorade. Drink our grandmother's blood and eat her flesh. And eat her bread flesh. And be sluts. And be cat according sluts. To according to, to some cat. cats. Um, we love you guys. Good night. Welcome to tomorrow. Goodbye.